All right, so what's the key to keeping Yogi Ferrell in front of you? Yeah. Um, play my defense. <laughs> Very much. What what makes him so tough to defend? Makes him tougher than other guys. Uh, he has the green light. And he's a tremendous passer. Um, and whenever you got the green light, you have the ball in your hands at all times. Pretty much valuable, putting up good numbers. So um, he's pretty much the engine of that team. Um, when he's going, that team is really clicking. When he's not, um, they still have other guys, but you know, he, he's pretty much in control of when you win by 30 or you, you know, it's a close game. So, having two guys, I'm sure you and Mike will both have a turn guarding him. Does that help that, that you're not one of you maybe isn't on him the whole day? I mean, that, that you can take turns a little bit? It does, you know, because whenever you got a guy like that, you know, you want to, you know, switch up on him. You know, you want to put a you know, physical guy on him. You want to put a guy that's pretty much kind of relaxed on him. Um, you know, so you have to, you have to be – you know, valuable of, you know, how to contain him. And you just got to study his tendencies because, I mean, he has pretty much the whole package of, you know, how to get around you and, you know, how to find people. In some ways, is he the biggest challenge that you're facing this year from a point guard because he can shoot it, he's ultra quick, and he can get by you? Um, I'd probably say it's just going to determine what happens at the end of the game, you know, so I don't, you know, I... I pride myself with defense, you know, one of the best in the Big Ten. So um, just pretty much, you know, locking in on the details of him and his tendencies. You know, so the game, uh, I mean, as the game goes along, probably at the end of the game I can have that answer. I think these, you and Indiana are the two highest scoring teams in the conference. What type of game do you expect and how comfortable are you guys being in a, in a 90 to 85 type of game? Uh, it should be a track meet, you know, to be honest, you know, throughout the previous years when we played them, it's been track meets. And, uh, you know, I, I think we were able to, you know, play fast and we're able to play slow. You know, they have a lot of sets, uh, but they also just want to get out and run and, you know, and get the easiest fuck possible. So, um, you know, I think we'd be prepared for it. You know, it's nothing we haven't seen before. And obviously every year, every team is different, but you guys have been to this arena plenty of times, especially you seniors. How does the familiarity kind of help with playing in the league and having it? It helps because we know what we're about to face, what we're about to go into. You know, that, I mean, I'm projecting it's going to be a sellout. Um, it's probably one of the loudest arenas we've been in so far. So, um, you know, being a senior and, you know, being a guy that played in the gym before, you know, I just know what to expect.